So if you never touch MS Project before, it's a good way to start and that's what we're going to try to do is to get you started with it uh, after this. Now it's time to enter our dependency so we could build our schedule, our activity on Node as I should say. And to do that we're going to have different methods. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll cover all the different methods. Also I will be looking at uh, entering constraints and entering now we're ready to start entering our cost and looking at the overall project budget and start managing all the different activities uh, with the costs in mind there. Uh, to do that we're going to be using our project resource leveling and when you open up the file you're going to see our famous single family house uh, that shows that we have pretty much identify our activities, we have identified the, uh, who's going to do what, all sequence, and the estimate and times are already entered. So as I said in the introduction, now that we are in execution mode, uh, it is important as project manager to be able to uh, know at all time where are we on this project and where do we stand versus our commitment, which is going to be represented by the baseline. Uh, what have we done? Uh, what is it that's still to be done? We are now at the stage where we need to organize the information that we have captured into different categories, into different views in order for us to do three things. Mainly, enter information so it fits the way we're getting the information and it's easier for us to uh, do our update. Uh, second is to organize that information so it simplify our life when it's time for this project in your next project. But also one of my goal is to make it simple enough so even though if you're not a technical person uh, you're not comfortable to use